Well, the dandelion fruit comes from the dandelion flower. Most seeds travel about two meters from the parent plant, but there have been reports of these parachuting fruit get carried over 100 meters, and there are even reports of them getting carried over vast swathes of seas to like 150 kilometers. So it's unpowered flight getting incredible distances. Each dandelion fruit is made up of a seed connected to a feathery drag-enhancing pappus, or parachute, which calls a pappus. If you look down on, on top of the parachute from above, it's 90% empty space. Between filaments, there's a, a thick boundary layer, and it effectively prevents air from penetrating through the parachute. And so it, it turns the fluid around the parachute, and it disgenerates this vortex of flow above the dandelion, which kind of just sits above it like a little halo. And this low pressure zone enhances the drag coefficient of the dandelion. The amount of drag that it can generate per unit area of material is quadruple that of what a disc would be. And when I say a disc, I mean, that's how we design parachutes. We design impermeable surfaces. If you gave evolution, like material, and says, okay, build me a parachute, and it built a disc, not only would it fall twice as fast as the dandelion, which is a bad thing, because it's trying to stay up in the air for as long as possible, but also, the weight that it would generate with that material is uh, it would be unstable. Whereas the dandelion, not only does it get more drag, it also stabilizes the wake. So it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's reached a kind of sweet spot in the design space. Parachutes have been around for quite a while now and people are pretty good at designing parachutes for human flight. It's just when you then take those principles and then try to miniaturize them down, they don't quite apply. Because things are being miniaturized all the time and especially flight, if you said, okay, make me a parachute, and you got some sort of fabric and used that, you, you wouldn't have an optimum solution. Evolution has done all the hard work for us. So, you know, why not just use that?